Good afternoon. Lovely sunny day for standing near a river painting outdoors. Well, second for indoors today. Uh, a ballerina. Some people go, can we do ballerinas in pastel? Because Degas did them. Uh, a lovely kind of soft um, way of uh, manip uh, using the pigment to get this softness in the figure. So, especially the uh, tweedy and the tutu and things like that. But um, I don't mind doing them. If every now and again I throw one in and then we just... Uh, <coughs> but this one I'm going to be a little bit different I think. Because I'm going to uh, put a lot of quite a background on. Without having too much colour. Really. I'm going to stick to the colours that are in the painting, in the photograph, okay. Now I know it looks a bit blurry because it looks like it's all browns. We actually look at the, the, the tutu, the tweel or whatever, uh, it's lovely, it's got cool colours in there as well as warm. So we could actually add most of that uh, as an underpainting. Then we'll sketch out the figure. Uh, probably do it quite quick really because um, we don't have to keep fixing it and laying over it because the dark backgrounds will help quite a bit. Now if you haven't got darks, you know, I suggest you get a few. Don't use black if you can help it. It just makes mucky colour. But um, we can, if you are using um, Unison, you can get boxes. You can get boxes of dark pastel. So Unison you can get dark pastel. So I've got a really dark blue and browns, you know, so I can mix those together to give me this lovely kind of warm brown feel to the background, hopefully. That is a blue, believe it or not, so it looks black, you know, but it's very, very bluish. And if you put brown over that, you see, you get the same colour in the background. So that's what I'm going to do first. And <coughs> I'm going to blend it all. Uh, like I said, if you do it with a tissue, you can probably take a lot off again. But you can just blend it like that, and then we'll fix it. Okay. Uh, and when we fix it, it will go a little bit darker anyway. So that'll give you the underpainting. Need my spectacles. Don't know where to put my other glasses. If I had other lose my glasses, I might be able to see a thing. Um, I'll put my newer ones on. So... <laughs> So that's what we're going to do then, spray it with some air spray, I'll fix it in, whatever you want to use. And then look at the detail in the figure, not a lot really. Uh, it's, it's getting the composition right, it's quite an interesting one, looking down on the model, on the ballerina. One leg's going off the picture, we can actually chop that off if you, uh, sometimes we kind of manipulate the image. So if I wanted to get rid of a leg, for instance, I could do that because... A lot of the times you don't actually want uh, things going uh, off the picture because it leads your eye out of it. So they chop the, the bottom of the foot off there and just pretend it's um, the cloth and nothing else. Um, then we'll keep everything within that, uh, that square. Okay. <coughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is just cover the whole picture with some brown. Which is very dark brown, yeah. Uh, again, this is Unison, <coughs> it's like soft pastel, um, but it's um, very dark, so quite nice pastels actually. And then um, block it all in, we get rid of the white paper. Now I am using gesso paper, I always use gesso paper for pastel, because I can create my own size, I can create my own background, I can create anything I want rather than relying on coloured papers, okay. So well, it's all about what you put underneath is uh, important. And then over the top of this, I'm just going to add a bit of blue, a dark blue, like that. Again, it's quite a soft blue. Uh, this is going to make it really, really dark. <laughs> quite a messy job this when we start blending it because it's going to go everywhere. The majority is on the cloth, on the bottom of the easel. Um, and then if I miss anything, I can just go over it. See, that even looks lighter now. So, <laughs> that's a dark, yeah. So if I start in the top corner and just blend like this, I should get that same tonal co uh, back background colour all over the picture, yeah? And then we can sketch the image over the top. 
Uh, I'm trying to make uh, a pier from this lovely dark background tone. And we can create subtle sort of changes in tone with the two areas and what have you. Okay. In fact, I could put some of that on first. Sometimes you just think about what you could put on to make it easier for yourself. It's not cheating, it's just making things a little bit easier. And sometimes you get a better feel for it, you know, by having it actually there. But I, uh, that's taking too much off, I don't want that. So I um, put that back, put a bit of black, yeah, not black, blue. So, because um, the tissue tends to take too much pastel off, and when you use your fingers, you're actually rubbing it into the grooves of the gesso, so it sticks better. Yeah. You know? uh, so you'll end up with a pile of dust if you start using a lot of tissue. <coughs> we can always darken areas again. Doesn't really matter that much. If we look at the picture now. Once you've got this background in, where well, you've got this tweel, <laughs> the fabric of the, uh, what she's wearing, with, um, it's lovely and cool, and it's kind of greeny blue actually, against the warms, yeah? And I can actually, I, as well as putting warm in there, <laughs> later I can put this lovely turquoise tone in. Um, might put it in later because it's something like that, isn't it? You see? So it might be better just, um, I'll get that to one side so that's, and then I'm going to fix it. And then it might be better doing it over the top of the fixed uh, charcoal uh, pastel because it will stay brighter because the pickle's going to go darker now, you won't see it. So, anyway, it doesn't matter. So we use a bit of our spray, spray all over. Uh, it doesn't need to be something wet. You just need a thin spray. Uh, it smells like the hairdressers now. So you lay this fill it home. Um, it's a long time since I went to a hairdresser. And then we can use the damp cloth. I mean, you could use a damp cloth to rub out the light bits, actually, because I have done this before. But uh, that's another technique altogether. Um, which we could actually do one day, but I'll have to save it for another time. Things are moving, okay? So get your, uh, just, uh, your damp cloth, keep it there because you need that. We don't want to be uh, <coughs> breathing it in, all this dust, so when it's when you spray it, it's settled. <coughs> I can taste it now at the back of my throat. <coughs> um, just have a drink. And I will sketch you. Now natural, it's a figure, so what do we do? We use the head, the constant, and it's actually kind of elongated that way, so the egg shape, so we've got one egg, but I'm going to do it that way, because it's from the back of her head, it's actually touching the other shoulder, so it's one head. Two head, something like that. Three heads to her elbow, four to her wrist, and five heads to the floor, to the bottom of your picture. So that's quite interesting. We can draw with a little bit of uh, sienna, I think. But I'm going to add some of the CS gone brighter now into my uh, area of kind of blues here. We've also got some, if you look at the picture, some alizarines as well, which is over this side. Uh, this is in the background tones of the tutu, yeah. Uh, we've also got the warm colours, which are the siennas, and they're in where the flesh is coming through. You see, so I'm doing this kind of, uh, kind of slightly abstract version of what I'm looking for, what I'm looking at, um, and then I can add darker colours and warm and lighter colours later. So this warm and the warmth over that blue, that's all. Uh, nice negative space, but um, I need to do five heads, so it's one, two, three to the elbow, four to the wrist, five to the floor. Okay, keep your colours to one side, so we can um, 
keep using them. I'm going to use a dark colour again, I think, for the head and that because I want to draw it this way. So if I say one, two, three, four, five, too small. So I need to make this head bigger, like that. And see? And then we'll go, not too big actually. One. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's more or less the size I want, okay? Which automatically gives me that shoulder shape. So one shoulder to another, I've got an angle there, like that, to this shoulder, which is the top of the shoulder, which this is why I put that, um, that colour in there, actually. And then we've got a negative space, so the front of her hair, Oh, the fringe is about there. Then we get this lovely shape of a nose and a forehead. Right, that's that way. And then we got the front of the the figure, like that, just where the, uh, uh, the vest comes down, which is slightly wider. Oh, it's going wider. Uh, so we're getting this lovely kind of shape, which goes over the shoulder, about there. Okay, I'm just trying to position things first roughly and that'll give me a good idea so we can block the hair in and just blend that in with a bit of, a bit of rubbing so that gives, that's the head and then from here we've got this negative space which is a kind of triangle shape like that isn't it uh, so we've got a lovely kind of negative there which is that shape which you can put in quite early on when you start putting these shapes and you get this and the back of the figure it's actually got a bun in actually which because it's coming out slightly more at the back but uh, not to worry and then um, the back of her head the back of her shoulders actually is going in and then we're coming round to the strap you see so that's the thickness that's the width of um, the, the, uh, the shoulder it's quite thick and then as you're coming down here we've got that shape so from under the arm as well, we're coming down here, and that is going at an angle, so it's a slight angle, and like I said before, we've got one head, if we go from the shoulder down, it's one head, two head to the wrist, so we can do the same thing, one head, okay, two head to the wrist, and that will give us a shape, something like that, with it, where the wrist is going to be, and the hand, don't forget the hands are quite big, uh, look at the arm and the way it comes out from the strap. Uh, it goes down to the elbow and then it comes out again and then it goes down to the wrist like that. So just in there you get a dark shape. So yeah, well, it changes direction. Um, it might be a little bit longer than that. You can just see the thumb and the outside of her hand and the fingers touching the floor. So I think that's, that'll do. That's about then. This one, got the same thing, you're coming round and you're going this way, and uh, then you can see about here is where the elbow is going to be, so that's that negative space, which is there, okay? That's the arm, and then we've got this uh, forearm, which comes down like that, uh, the outside of the elbow, and uh, then the forearm, so you get the wrist, and then this disappears into the tweel. And then from here we've got um, where you're getting that negative space, which is that. You get this lovely uh, angle for her knee, which comes down here like that. You've got a, a crease in it as well. And uh, this is where you're seeing uh, the shape of the foot, which is near to you. We come down something like that. And then we go into this foot because the, the leg and your ballerinas can get into all kinds of weird kind of positions. So you need to put that shape in, which is actually on level with this. So uh, you've got the thumb here, anyway. which looks about right, touching the floor, it's not too far off. So you've got this dark shape there with the fold in the dress, the outside of her arm. And then this bit, which I've just coloured off, is just a bit of white tweel. Okay? 
So we got this lovely curve here, we got a curve here, and like a, a triangle shape there. And then at the back, we're going to tie it dirt, so you get the back of the top going down to there, so it goes in. Okay, and then it comes out, and we're getting this kind of shape. Okay, um, just little bits of information where the dress is going to be. So I don't know if you can see that very well. Keep the head in there. And we, we can do the background, we can do it in the background as well. So we don't have to worry too much about uh, it not making head and the tail at the moment. And the, some of the purples, bluish purples, uh, get some colours out, get some purples out, light purples as well. Um, get your hard white pastels out. You don't need much in the way of pure white, soft, apart from on the the shoe, valley shoe, and um, on the strap and things like that. But then we want to add a darker tone first. So I'm going to add the blues. That's two blue, isn't it? Um, there's another blues. They've all got broke up, split. I need some more. That's stuff for Windsor and Newton. Thank you very much. We're going to be doing another demonstration for them next month at Northwich. Northwich, uh, Anderton Village Hall. Uh, I've been doing Wizard Newton demonstrations for a few years now, actually. Uh, ran by Phil <coughs> from Northwich Art Shop. It's a quick plug there, Phil. And uh, <laughs> we're doing pastels in a few months' time, in next month, because we've just done Griffith Portrait, actually. So, yeah, we're sketching it out like this, and uh, Wizard Newton have promised me they're going to give me some more pastels. Or selling it, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's the idea and just get that lovely colour, you know, the position of her arm and the way she's leaning, and then the floor. We have got a bit of the uh, twill on the floor. You can just kind of, you see where it, um, it creates these lovely light areas that are not pure white, they're just soft areas where it folds and this is what I want to try and achieve really, not too not too much but giving that lovely softness you know I mean I shouldn't have started it, I'm just having a link but yeah, we need some purples and uh, blue I'm forever running out of uh, different blues so um, we'll have some nice blues here see like that, we've got a little bit near the side of the arm because wherever it is in shadow it's white goes to changes to blue okay like that um add some color add some blues at the back because you get alizarine and blue and make purples you get lovely reflected lights we can add blue here as well as sienna because you've got uh, just a little bit of a skin tone showing underneath uh, we can also see it there as well. You can see where the warmth is. Whatever you put on at this stage is going to come through when you start adding the white. So you want uh, these blue shapes, yeah, things like that. And the white will pick up everything you've got there, you see. Uh, so we've got a nice uh, lighter blue as it falls, something like that. And then this falls, um, it goes that way. And the white is going to do a lot of this for us later. But I'm just getting the colours underneath so they'll they'll pick out when I put the white over the top, like I've just said. When I'm repeating myself now. Sign of getting on a bit, I think. So this is a little bit purpley. Um, I'm, wild, I'm warm, so it's um, kind of burnt sienna and then very, very light in the middle because that's a bit full. And we've got a bit of light here as well because that's kind of turning. Uh, so this is a burnt sienna, this is just a, a burnt sienna pigment. I might actually have to uh, just fix this because um, I can just see the hand here, which is, uh, i put a bit of pink on it, that hand underneath and I can actually see the knuckles so uh, and I probably want to get rid of that line 
actually. So we can put some cool colour on the inside of her arm. The same over here, it's like that. So the outside is going to be warm. So from her shoulder there, it's got this lovely warm sienna, okay. Uh, it's got to be a nice light area there. That's got to be dark on top. Uh, so we've got a bit more. We can add blue to that to give us a purple, purple tone like that. And the purple goes into the back, give you a look. Like you get reflected lights in the back. Um, and then the sienna comes down into the into the front of a, of a, and then you get this lovely light and the highlight from the arm coming out of her. So when we add white to that, it's going to be. So the middle of her arm is quite light. It twists a bit. So you're getting the twist. And then at this, this corner, this line, all the way down. Uh, from here, again, we've got that lovely shape. This comes past the nose, past the forehead. And that comes, so it's in, out. And that comes down the arm. Uh, again, it's going to be very light in the middle, more or less. And then as you're coming around here, it's going a little bit light. So as you get to the nape of the inside of the elbow, this does come out a little bit. Inside of the elbow, we'll go warmer. Okay, and then we're going cool because it's going under the tweel, so we're getting that cooler feel to it there. A bit of bluey green, bluey. Sienna's. You can also see the knuckles on the hand, but uh, we'll do that with the white later. We also will need to do some of these darker shapes on the uh, on the, the shoulder and the bit just at the side of her head there, which is this lovely warm area. Uh, at the end, down to the the bosom, and then the shape of a, a bosom. Like that underneath the white top. All right, we're going to add light to that. And then on the hair, we're going to, not the hair, the forehead, nice and warm here. And it, the nose is nice and warm as well. Because it just protrudes from that actual shape of her of eyebrows. So when we look at uh, the, the light tones hitting it, you're going to, cap, you're going to get this, uh, Beautiful light. So I'm going to add a bit of blue to this because it's not white. This is just a bit of blue. I don't want it to be pure white in, all over. I want it to be look like it's got some creases, you know, like that in the top. Uh, it has got creases, so you just have to create these little creases first. Uh, you can do the same with the skirt, and uh, even at the back where you're getting this lovely uh, kind of reflected light and the uh, in the top she's wearing, which is that lovely and blue. It's actually looking quite like a a Degas a painting. Uh, even at this stage, you know, with his passport. Mm. Ah, it's lovely. Now some reflection. I've been doing the gardening this morning. I've been doing the lawn, so I'm quite thirsty. Um, I have a bit more red up there, just to keep the warmth going. Uh, we've got a bit in the hair as well, and then we're going to start using white. Now, like I said before, the white is going to really bring out the tone values. You've got the, the light on the inside of a foot. Uh, it's also quite a little bit darker, there, so I'm going to have a bit of purple. And as we come round to the bottom of the foot, it changes tone again. You've got this lovely light uh, inside the hand, the palm of the hand. This disappears. Excuse me, into a shadow or a shape at the back. And just some blocking. Always trying to paint with the pastel. Try to use the side of it. I know you need it for detail sometimes, but if you can actually use just use the sides, you get a little bit kind of painterly marks, you know. And then we're just kind of going from dark to light, which is. Uh, what we, what we usually do. So if I have a look at this, uh, just have a look at this front foot, because I've got a really nice warm uh, pastel here, which is going to bring out the, the highlight 
Uh, it's also got creases in the foot where, yeah, because it's got this fabric, and I could just see the light catching it. I've not used any white yet. This is a, a yellowish sienna pastel. Okay, so I could probably use this. Uh, I'll just try it up here first. Could probably use this. No, it wants to fix it. Can you see how it's sliding off? When it slides off, it just needs to be fixed because it's quite soft up there. So I. Let's fix that, that. Let's give it a, a little spray. Uh, it's because I've got some thick blue, dark, uh, soft pastel underneath. And it's, um, although I fixed it, it's sliding off when I put this soft pastel over the top. So uh, <coughs> once it dries, you should be able to uh, add light to that. I've got another pastel here, which is quite light as well, so I can... You can see, so this will go over. This is beautiful because it's nice and strong. I right? can see. So that is the light coming down from the arm and around the features there. <coughs> um, now be too light actually. <laughs> Back to our sienna. Everyone. So the sienna, like that. Um, just going up to the top of the head there because it's got a nice bobble here. Everything's all right, just rub out. You see the top of the shoulder, just there, like that. Um, and the front of a forehead, again, is lighter, so we'll just make that a bit lighter as it dis dis disappears into the shape around the head, and then you've got a lovely light down the nose to the tip. I mean, that's as simple as that. Uh, we can add light to that as well, white. So that's the shape of a forehead. You can just see the eyebrows there. And, uh, okay, so you get a lovely shape. This is the bit uh, coming from a neck there. And then we've got this lovely light just here on that muscle in the neck. And then we're getting the, the uh, collarbone. And then we're getting the, the shape of the front of the, uh, the figure. Uh, coming down to the chest. And uh, we've got the same thing, just picking out that lovely shape of a face there. You can see, so you get that lovely curve, curve, like that. Um, and then just using the same pastel to bring out the light on the left hand side of the arm. Um, if it's too light, we can always soften it later. And then here as well. So that's the light catching that arm. And then as you're coming down here, we're going into cool colour because the tree is actually coming from here and it's going across you see you can just make out the light on it so if you do that and then put the warm underneath put the lights underneath you'll look it'll look like it's uh, disappearing so this is the knuckles these are the knuckles sorry on a hand we can just make out one finger okay nothing else as it disappears into the tree here around the, uh, um, the foot. Uh, all right, stand back. And same over here, we want to warm this up a little bit. I might have to fix this again, actually. I think it's because I'm working on a dark, a soft, dark area, see? So here, the light's catching the arm. I've got a a blob of tone though, which is making a dint. Uh, just on the arm, it comes here, it goes a little bit lighter here. So we've got that, that kind of kink here. Uh, and then we're going to the front. This is where we're going to add. Uh, uh, so we've got a lovely shadow there actually. And then this is the front of the arm. It comes that way. We're going to darken that in a bit. Quite a big shape. Oh, but it might be too big, so I'm just going to take in this uh, the shape of the uh, top. Make it a bit blue, bluer, bluer. Is that the word? Is it such a word? <laughs> Beautiful colours, can you see? Use the same blue for reflected lights on the tree in the background. We've got this beautiful colour there, like that. Okay, squint. Take your glasses off. So this is going to be uh, 
nice and light. Uh, that's where the muscle is going to be here. And this comes down because it's going into the top of the, at uh, the bottom of the arm, the wrist. And when you get to the wrist, you always get a flat area because that's where your wrist sits. And then you've got the outside of a, uh, a thumb and then the outside of a palm of the finger. Just like that. And that's all you can see, really. Um, again, we've got this lovely muscle tone here. Because, because the muscles are getting squashed, it's it's reflected, it's catching more light. Uh, same here, because it's getting squashed, it's it's a bit lighter there. Uh, so, um, it's got a nice texture actually, I quite like the texture uh, and the light on it. Um, so we can use um, yeah, use some of this on this foot. And then we'll have some warmth again in here, where it's uh, disappearing around the corner, and a bit of tweed just reflecting the light there, which is cool. And as we're coming down here, it's going nice and warm uh, in places, and it's creased as well, so it's creasing. So I'm not using white, I'm just using a bit of this sienna colour, because it's warming it up. You see, like that, and do the shapes you see in the folds if you can. Uh, press on harder when you see more light uh, there, and then take off when it goes a little bit darker. So you're creating this lovely kind of fold. We are going to use white, but I don't want it just to be white. That. I want it to be um, different colours. Uh, because that's where the interest lies as well. You've got some beautiful blue. You start see these lovely blues as well. Squint, look at the picture. Okay, you'll see all sorts of colour in there. Um, and then we're coming down here and it's going a little bit cooler again. But then we can add some more warmth. And then when we use the white, uh, we can add stronger lights near the edges of the fabric on the shoe okay uh, so this is nice uh, light area as well I might, I might actually spray this just to, to knock it back a bit you know what I mean so here I can see uh, flesh under there you can also see this um, the fold of blue where the, uh, the fabric is and the way it comes down at the front and then uh, I've not, I've, not, I've not put the white in yet. Try and pace yourself. Don't put it in too soon. Yeah? If you can pace yourself, you get a better effect. You're kind of working your way up to pure white, and that's what we, that's what we need to do. So I want to add these beautiful colours and alizarines and what have you first, just in the shapes. I mean, the alizarine and the blue just made nice purple. And then we add white to it. Okay, so as we're coming from here, it's going a bit cooler, cooler. <laughs> um, a lovely blue right near the hand here as well. Uh, quite dark, but we can make it uh, blue like that. Um, and around here, inside there. Yeah. Because it's in shadow, just kind of use your imagination. Use. She's actually touching the tweel there, and that's where you can see this. Beautiful light of blue on the floor. <coughs> the back's working quite well. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Uh, her head's not dark enough yet. I've got plenty of time. Stand back. Mm. Yeah. That's quite nice though. I'm going to add. What should I add there? A little bit more blue. I've not got any purple. Not that strong. Well, I have. I have. So I can use a bit of purple on the inside of the uh, skin tones like that. So I get this nice shadow on the skin, the back of the head as well, um, and the back of the hand. This is coming down. I want to get rid of my lines as well. You don't want to actually see 
uh, your lines. You know, you don't want to see these uh, dirt lines. Anyway, I've put a bit of white in just to see. I've got a very strong soft white there. Might use it. Put a bit of white in. We'll just have a look where the whites are. Okay, on the nose, on the forehead, uh, across the top of the forehead. It's always lighter at the top. Okay, uh, and that's coming this way a bit. So light's coming from that direction. We've got a fold here and a crease, just like that. Um, it goes in. That's what I mean about the lovely light on the inside of her arm. It's not actually on the edge in places and then it comes around uh, on that muscle. You see, it gives it a lovely shape. This is the shape at the top of the, the chest and the angle of the... Uh, blend it a little bit, hang on. The angle here just a little bit of softness to soften it uh, and you can actually see the bone structure uh, lights uh, light okay and then here we've got a lot more light because that's where it changes direction so we've got a little bit of subtle change there and then a light area and then it blends into the rest of the arm and they get a lovely light there so we can blend that a little bit just to give the light on the arm and as it comes down we're going in. Yeah. We can draw inside that uh, we can draw back inside this arm to give us not as thick an arm actually. I think it's too thick. Uh, we can blend this to soften the edge. You can go over with um, that lovely blue again. Uh, yeah. um, just look for the blues, cools, <laughs> the shapes coming out. And we can we can use a cloth to kind of waft it and soften the edges. I think you can buy a, like a a spinner that has bits of cloth on it. You can splatter. Anyway. Um, we're looking at the dark shapes. <laughs> I'm going to use this to put in some dark areas. So although I've got I'm on dark paper, yeah, there's areas that are darker than the paper, and that's what I want to add a little bit. Uh, and you can actually see some of these darks through the picture, like there as well. You know, these lovely dark shapes. Just at the side of this arm and things, uh, we've got this here. You can use black right at the very end. Just, you don't start blending with it, but we can use it just to put in uh, some of those shapes. I'm going to use some white because we have to come across here like that. This is the top she's wearing. Okay, so it's quite straight. Now it goes up into the strap <laughs> and then as you get to the front here it goes light and then it starts to go cool again because it's going around the corner so you've got these folds like that and then you get these folds can you see so you just get bits of it catching the light and then you get the folds in, in the top uh, so that's uh, nice this is a hard white pastel yeah uh, and it goes white from on the top of the shoulder isn't it? <laughs> and then it starts to go cool so because I've got some blue on there and pink it's changing the tonal value just slightly so it's a bit darker and I can go over this blue at the back as well as this and make it darker we could do the same thing around here we just paint the negative in the background like that. <laughs> Quite dark. See, if I show you, if I use some black pastel, jet black, yeah, 
it's a lot darker than that so I can actually redraw uh, the background shapes with that if I wanted like I said but uh, you know, just be careful like I said with, when you're using black it's really good for bringing out light because no dark there's no light without dark naturally so you do need it black but um, I don't tend to use a lot of it you know it's like the shape around the shoulder so this is the back of a a back there which gives you a lovely kind of shape there actually and then that goes into the, the top as well and we can blend that just to knock it back a bit you don't have to be perfectly dirt lined yeah. soften the edges and blend into the background she becomes a this lovely negative shape in a, a sea of dark you know <coughs> things like that uh, we can do this because this is quite dark so we bits of information like uh -huh. Beautiful. We can emphasise things like where the wrist is, drag the colour away because it, you've got a little bit of dirt there just around that forearm which is bringing out the forearm and then you've got the dirt between the thumb and her finger and then you've got this lovely dirt here which is the shape of the tweed here, things underneath it. Uh, all sorts of little shapes going on. Again, we can block in certain areas that we wanted slightly darker because this is the fabric on the floor. Actually, so I'm just going to block down that. Right. The fabric hitting the floor and then going in the back room. So, right. <coughs> so now I'm going to light up. Now, this is a strong it's a blue actually may I show you this is my hard white and um, we could use uh, a soft white if we pick the hard white up it blends the colours underneath uh -huh. so we've got this lovely kind of flat areas where the light's catching I might have to use the soft white in the flesh tones uh, and then here with the leg chains, you know, where I put all these lines in, and they got this lovely highlight there as well. You get these lovely changes where the, the fabric folds, and it also goes lighter here on that arm because it's underneath the tween. Okay, and then that light it actually disappears under that arm. Uh, we've got little bits of um, folds in the fabric, uh -huh. you know, and this is what it's all made up of. So you just have to keep looking to see the shapes and the folds in this lovely fabric. Uh -huh. It's really nice painting. Um, fabric and getting the folds. You can do a whole kind of study in it, you know, <coughs> if you wanted to. Although you don't need to because you can just very very faint pick up and use the side of your pastel just to put in and then changes in tone. It's all kind of crumpled and, and, and lighter in some places, darker in others. Squint, yeah, squint. Look at the shapes like that, where the light's catching things. <coughs> and all the time, that's gonna come forward. Yeah, it should start to come out of the picture. Right here. Creases folds here All right. this lovely fold the light all about
light colour. Uh, this lovely light on her leg, because it's quite warm that, because that's where the leg is, we know. Other people don't, but we do. That the other leg is going off the pitch. Yeah. So it doesn't matter, we, we know. And then we can put this lovely kind of highlights right on the edges of the fabric. Uh, and a softer feel to some areas, just blend it with your finger. Alright. Uh, like this. Again, blend it with your finger. Soften an edge. This is this lovely highlight on the shoe, on the slipper. Uh, like this. And then we got this. That way, and then this goes down here, and then that goes down there, like that, something like that. Changes slightly, and then the folds go that way, uh, the light and the hand, and then the finger. Yeah, the wrist is always light because it's bony. Yeah, and then the inside of her arm is uh, light. Uh, got a nice little very subtle change in tone just on that side of her arm it brings out the shape it's like okay and it's just coming down here like so. blend it a bit because it's going into the background so it's going to disappear <coughs> um, top and then we come this way because the edges are lighter and then you go darker so that's how we create this beautiful light hitting this and then soften that to keep the edge lighter see soften it go on you soften it and then we can add more colour to this later if you wanted to, I'll just soften it with your finger. Um, highlight blue, blue. My world is blue. Uh, this comes down here again, soften that bit. Stand back. anything I think we need light on a uh, on a skin tones but I think I'm going to use soft soft lights we can actually see now where you're getting kind of reflections coming from this side and they go warm again so it's quite nice and you see these cool and warm tones can you see uh, it's kind of up from the edge here and it goes slightly warm because it'd be getting some light from the back somewhere so it's going a little bit warmer you see just that kind of gossamer type stuff uh, like that we've got a lovely blue not purple actually which connects this part of the leg to that part you see yeah Crease and then a shape and throw it yet. If I fix that, this is going to sink like mad, so I'm a bit worried. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to crease. This is a light blue, so let's um, we get a, 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 an area there where it changes tone and then it goes into all this light. It's kind of just that way, though. <coughs> and then we can add light to it because you can put pure white on the top. Uh -huh. Yeah, just little bits. Stand back. Look at the weather today. Just a sign of things to come. If you're more adventurous, okay, you can start to add reflected lights in the skin. Uh -huh. 
which is on the back. You see, uh, back of her hair, back of her shoulder blades, and then the arm as well. So you get that lovely kind of reflection there, it gives her some substance. Okay, we can go warm and still, we can go warm and kind of orangey because it actually, oops, just got a little bit of orange here. Put some of this warmth in, especially on the edge there. That's, um, that's really strong light. Orangey light. Mm. <laughs> and here it goes strong. Orange. <coughs> Orange and blue. Complementary colours. Cap. Beautiful. Hand. Wrist. Side of the head. Where you do purple in one place, you know, it wouldn't have to do it all over, but this is a bit, uh, it's a bit warmer actually, because it's not as strong, uh, so it's quite light. Uh, maybe because get it, it's getting a bit of reflected light from the figure in the front. And that's, uh, that's okay. The values are soft, pastel. I've got a little bit of warm somewhere. I do have to get in the box. <laughs> Sorry. I've just got boxes full of different pastels. Um, and I have got a big box underneath that's full of pastels. Me softy one, Isn't that soft. Um, yeah, this is soft. Highlight in the round the arm, so the highlight is not soft. It don't matter. The highlight around the lights catching things. Yeah. Pure white. Alright, um, I've already got it there. Creases, fabric, and anything over the arm, tweed. And the hand, under the trail. Yeah. Got a nice light on the floor. This is something else you can do. What time is it? Oh, it's near party. <coughs> get carried away. This is something else you can do. You can actually put uh, warmer colour on the floor if you want to, so you get a shadow from uh, the foot. So you can have uh, a bit of light on the other side. So that's the shadow of the foot going into the floor and we don't have to do it everywhere but you can just do it in that one corner so lighter as it comes nearer darker as it goes away yeah. that will give you lovely directional light as well you're getting that shadow okay so that's about it really you got lovely darks at the side of her head yeah where the fringes and the and side of the head. It's a nice dark. I mean, it's lovely just to do a drawing and then leave it. Uh, that um, top casts a shadow as well, so you got a shadow there. Okay. And that's uh, 
But yeah, I'll let that just be a little bit because it's too, too kind of obvious. So you could have the, the dirt show a bit off the picture. <coughs> Slight spray, just to hold it, and then put it in a folder with some newspaper over the top or tissue, yeah, because you don't want it to get smudged. But yeah, that's our ballerina really. Uh, I could fix it and go stronger, but I quite like uh, the values, and it's only took us an hour, so that's good enough for me. Have a go. Okay, have a go. I'm going garden now, with bottle in hand. <laughs> um, have a nice weekend. Off to Walton tomorrow, doing a workshop. Love the little village in Yorkshire. Um, quite a busy few months coming up, like I said. But we'll carry on with the 12. Well, you, you've paid for them now, so I will not let you down, you know. I won't kick anybody off, and I'm actually thinking of letting everybody stay on anyway. So I'll keep the page going, and uh, you'll be able to, as long as you're a member, if you've been a member, you'll be able to access all the videos that I've done since I started. Yeah, and refresh your memory. So can't say further than that. I might start back, I don't know. Uh, <coughs> just have to see how everything goes. Don't we? Well, I want to really want to thank you for supporting me and I hope you've uh, learned a lot over the past, past few years actually since we're going. So um, anyway, have a nice weekend and I'll see you on uh, on Monday, no not Monday, it could be Thursday again uh, because I'm busy. So Thursday with class 5 and 6 on Friday, so I'm halfway through. Uh, halfway through. Okay, and then I'll just take the tape off because it always looks better when you take the tape. Give you that nice, uh, nice whiteboard. Surprising, isn't it? Just to give you, it secludes the image from, makes it, uh, in a, puts it in a space, and then you, uh, you can see what the heck's up with this. And the new board. Uh, you can see what it looks like, probably the mount surrounding it. Ah, oh, yeah. Where's my clips gone? So, bye for now, and I'll see you next week. Wednesday, thank you. Tuesday, Thursday, turn it, turn the picture. There you go. Thank you very much. Bye.